Jeff receives his crush Brianna at school. He thinks to himself, she's so pretty, I'm going to ask for a number. Jeffrey tells all of his friends, I'm going to ask for a number after class, guys. Just wait, just wait, you, you guys will see, just wait. Jeffrey's not too confident. He secretly thinks to himself, she wouldn't like me. I'm not good enough. I'm ugly. After class, Jeffrey sees Brianna. She's all by herself. Jeffrey, now's your chance. Jeffrey's friends are hyping you up. Go, 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 now's your chance. Talk to her, talk to her. And Brianna walks right by Jeffrey. Jeffrey says nothing. He got too scared. He didn't know what to say. He panicked. His friends laugh at him. Jeffrey goes home miserable, sick to his stomach. He has lost all respect for himself. He lies in bed thinking, if only he asked her. He then goes to sleep with the immense feeling of regret. Aww. Adonis. Adonis is a high value, confident man. When Adonis sees his crush Janet at school, he doesn't even give it a second thought. He immediately approaches, bringing out his hand and formally introducing himself. From the outside looking in, the conversation seems to be going great. Adonis tells his crush he's interested in her and he wants to take her out to get coffee sometime. But surprisingly, Janet says no. But how could she say no to Adonis? He's a high value, confident man. Imagine how Adonis took this. Was he angry? Was he upset? Of course not. Adonis doesn't take it personal. He knows that this only means that they are not compatible. And this moves him a step closer towards the girl he's meant to be with. Adonis thanks Janet for her time and moves on. Adonis' friends gain a huge respect for Adonis. For not only going up to her, but how well he took rejection. Man, look at Adonis. So about a year or two ago, I had a crush on this girl at my job. I thought she was very pretty and I thought I had a chance. I remember telling my sister and even friends outside my job I was going to get her number. And I literally told them a day I was going to get her number. I'm like, today, today's the day I'm going to get her number because I knew I worked with her that day. Once I got to work, I didn't even look at her. I didn't even speak to her just because I was so afraid of the interaction. I was so afraid to talk to her just because I knew in the back of my mind I wanted to ask for a number. And I'm guessing it was because I wasn't confident enough or because I just didn't believe I was good enough for her. But for some reason, I just could not speak to her at all. I was afraid. So that entire day, I said nothing to her. I think I maybe said hello. That's it. And so when I get home, I'm, expect I'm expected to tell my sister and tell my friends uh, what happened. You know, uh, did I get a number or what? But I didn't tell them anything. I went to bed sad, miserable, with regret, thinking, what if I just talked to her? What, what could have happened now? I could have been talking to her right now. I could have been texting her right now. But instead, I'm laying in bed and lonely because I was too afraid. The next day comes around and I happen to be working right next to her. And now I think God has given me some kind of map, some kind of plan. He, he wants me to do this. He wants me to go talk to her. That's, that's the only reason. I'm thinking it's, it's meant to be. Today is the day I have to talk to her. There's not gonna be any other chance. Today is the day, now's the time. So after about an hour of working with her, just really casually talking, not really getting to the point, I'm literally sweating so bad inside my uniform. I can feel the sweat dripping down my body. Just try to imagine, put yourself in my shoes, being right next to your crush, knowing that, you know, this may be my last chance to get her number. Imagine sweating, palms are sweating, body is sweating, feet are sweating. But despite that, I did it. I asked for a number. I literally pulled out my phone, had the dial pad ready. I was going to give it to her when I asked for a number. When I asked for a number, do you know what she said to me? She told me maybe. She didn't say yes. She didn't say no. She told me maybe. So then I asked her, I'm like, what do you mean maybe? It's either a yes or a no. And she said, mm, maybe, I don't know. I'm like, wow. So, you know, initially, at first I thought she was joking. I'm like, all right, hey, okay, get to the point. Okay, funny joke, funny joke. Okay, but yes or no? She's like, I don't know, maybe. I wish you guys could imagine the feeling that I felt in the moment. Stomach completely dropped. You know, the sweating completely stopped. And I'm just like, almost in shock. Not because she said no, but just the maybe. I'd rather have heard a no than a maybe. I ended up taking the phone back and didn't talk to her for the rest of the day. Later that night, I went home 
you know, initially was mad just because, you know, just because the answer she gave. But then when I really thought about it, I'm like, look how far I came. Just the day previous, I was, I was too afraid to even look at her. I went to bed miserable, not telling anybody what happened just because I was so ashamed of myself, feeling embarrassed because I didn't even have the guts, I didn't have the balls to go and freaking talk to her and go and ask for her number. I went to bed that night sick to my stomach. You know, this is not my first time that I wanted to ask for a girl's number and then just totally froze, totally just did not do it at all because I got too afraid. This was nothing new to me. I felt the feeling of regret before and I, I hated every single time. But after asking for a number, even though she did say maybe, which is ultimately a no, all right, I felt a level of relief. I don't know if you guys remember earlier, but I said that I stopped sweating. I stopped sweating because it, it was relief. There was no more pressure. There was no more stress. The feeling of regret was gone. Now, of course, there's a little pain now, and the rejection sucked. Of course, it. I'm not going to say the rejection didn't suck. I'm not going to sit here and lie to you guys and say the rejection didn't suck. The, the rejection was horrible, but it was way better than the feeling of regret. I can go to bed with a smile on my face knowing that at least I tried to ask her. This is just a message to all the guys and girls out there, you know, who want to go talk to their crush, who were, who are afraid to go ask for their numbers, who are afraid to go, go up to them, go and approach. There's nothing to be afraid about. The feeling of regret is a hundred times worse than the feeling of, of rejection. You know, I wish there was a better way where I could really, you know, make you guys understand. But I think once you've been rejected, I think once you have so much regret, there becomes a time and a point where you just want to stop feeling the regret. And the rejection is, is, is not too bad. All rejection is, is filtering out the girls that are not compatible for you. The rejection just moved me one step closer to the, to the girl I'm supposed to be with. And that's the mindset you need to have.